This is a paper from Oracle about uh, implementing an inference engine for RDFS and ODL constructs and user defined rules in Oracle. So I'll start with some, some background and motivation for the problem. Uh, the data we're inferencing over represents a labeled directed graph which may contain cycles. Edges in the graph are called triples. We write a triple as subject property object and the idea is that subject and object are nodes. There's an edge from subject to object labeled by property. Uh, the identifiers used for, for subject property and object are, are URIs, which is sort of a generalized version of a URL. Uh, object, in addition to a URI, can also be a, a literal. Uh, so triples represent facts. And here we have some triples about, about ICDE 2008 and about Cancun. And hopefully, you'll realize that this is a very flexible way to represent data. And pretty much anything you can imagine, you can represent using, using enough triples. So when you have this RDF data, why is it interesting to perform inference over it? Well, the W3C defines vocabularies and associated semantics uh, for use with RDF. So in this case, a vocabulary is basically a set of URIs that you can use in your triples as, as nodes or as, or as properties. Um, and if you, if you feed this data using a vocabulary into a reasoner that understands the semantics associated with the vocabulary, the reasoner will be able to produce, uh, inf infer tr new triples uh, from your data, right? So there's a number of different vocabularies that W3C defines. Uh, Additionally, users can define their own rules for, for whatever domain they happen to be, to be operating in. Um, and I think one of the most interesting applications of this inference, certainly in the semantic web space, is this idea of being able to merge separate data sources. So maybe you have two guys writing, publishing RDF data about the same domain, but since they haven't coordinated, they're using you know, totally different URIs uh, to to express their data, right? So, if you just naively were to, to union those two graphs, there would be no overlap, there'd be no commonality, and you wouldn't get anything out of it. But using OWL, you can establish uh, correspondences. You can say that uh, two URIs, even though they, two different URIs actually represent the same node. Uh, and you can do something similar for properties to say that two properties are equivalent uh, even though they, they have different URIs. So when you, when you add these correspondences in, um, you're able to, to union these two data sets and extract more information out of them. And I mean, that's a simple example. OWL is, is richer than just, than just having equivalences. Uh, but the idea that you can merge data sources is there. Um, the other interesting thing is you can, you can infer hidden facts from your existing facts. Uh, but I guess the interesting part of that is that facts can contradict each other. Uh, there are there are OWL facts that, that are contradictory. So if these hidden facts contradict some other facts that you have, that's a sign that you have hidden um, inconsistencies in your in your explicit data. So what's Oracle's support for RDF? Well, 2005 we support uh, RDF storage query and some basic inference. In 2007, we revamped the inference engine. This revamped inference engine is the topic of our paper. The key points are um, it's scalable, it's efficient, it's based on forward chaining. It supports a subset of OWL DL called OWL prime. Uh, OWL prime is something we've defined uh, based on consultations with customers and domain experts and we needed a subset that, that we could scale with and we could, we could support efficiently. Uh, so those were, those were key design points uh, in constructing that subset. The inference engine is implemented as a database application. And one particular interesting thing about it is, uh, is it allows you to generate proofs for your uh, tr inferred triples so that if you have an inferred triple that you didn't expect or you don't understand, you can go back uh, and look at the proof and see how that triple was derived.
So that was some background and motivation. In the rest of the talk, I'll describe the semantics that we support and the rules we use, uh, talk about the design and implementation of the inference engine in the database, talk about a performance evaluation, and of course, some ideas for future work. If you'd like more information, you can go to search.oracle.com, search for semantic technologies, and you'll find a wealth of information there.